everyone, this is CK Reyes and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And right now, we are back for another performance review and this reaction video is Sarah Hieronymus' performance of Were You There During the Holy Week. Sobrang late na po talaga ng pagre-react natin sa performance na ito but sobrang pinipid ko talaga ang sarili ko sa panunood nito at sobrang tiniis ko talaga ang aking gratification to watch this performance because I would want to reserve this moment sa ating reaction video and I would like to share with you what I would feel sa panunood sa performance na ito. Though I've been seeing and reading a lot of great feedback on Facebook, on Twitter, and even on YouTube, talagang tiniis po natin yun for this reaction video and kahit na medyo late na po itong reaction video natin, I hope panoorin nyo pa rin po because I would want to share this moment with you. So, wag na po natin patagalin pa. Simula na po natin ang ating performance review and I really couldn't wait to feel blessed sa performance na ito. Ang grabe. Kasi nabalitaan ko sobrang ganda daw talaga. So, let's begin with our reaction video. Honestly, hindi ko alam yung song na ito, ha? Now I get it. 
sometimes uh, there are performances but talaga mas speechless ka and to be very honest for the sake of this reaction video I would speak and I would talk but the truth is sobrang nanglambot ako sa performance na to to a point that I don't wanna talk to a point that I don't wanna say something and I just would want to feel that extended emotion na binigay ng performance na ito. It, it was so deep. It was, it was very piercing sa heart. It was very emotional. It was, it was very heavy. And I think the song itself um, nagawa talaga siya for that purpose. For, for the people to feel the grief for the people to feel the, the emotion yung pag-iyak yung pagsigaw yung panunumbat I think yun yung gustong iparamdam ng song eh but sometimes the song is not enough hindi enough yung lyrics hindi enough yung melody kailangan meron kang effective na singer kailangan meron kang believable na singer to deliver this song for the song to serve its purpose and I think that's what happened during this performance. The song was very emotional. It was very meaningful. Tapos kinanta pa siya ng someone who is a very, very believable singer. Who can really pierce through any material things. Tapos papasok siya papunta sa puso mo. Parang ganon. And that is Sarah Hieronimo. That's how heavy this performance was. And grabe... Ang daming nangyari, ang daming nangyari sa performance, no? Vocally, it's, it's perfect. Um, for me, yes, madaming techniques na pinakita si Sarah Geronimo. I, I love how she handled the low notes. We have different, or we heard different textures of, of low notes here. My low notes na airy, mahangin, my low notes na buong-buo may low notes na medyo magaspang yung tunog. And, and it's really nice to hear those types of techniques kasi it's not gonna bore you. It's gonna depend on what type of emotion you would want to to convey. If you want to whisper, then lagyan natin ng konting hangin. If kailangan natin ng konting DM, buuin natin yung low notes natin. Kung kailangan natin ng mas may emotion, medyo gawin natin rasp yung low notes. And I think, ganun ka-technical tinira ni Sarah Heron mo yung mga low notes na dito kaya sobrang impressive and for someone to control those low notes given that it's not just a straight low notes no? or those were not straight low notes those were lyrical drives when we say lyrical drives melismas grunts and riffs na from this particular point pinababa pa niya tapos wak dun sa nota tapos ang ganda ng quality at tunog ng low notes that's really something that's really something na magsasabi sa'yo na she is really a great vocalist. And then, nag-shift siya to mid-belts. And I think that's the most impressive part of this performance. There is always, or a singer always has a choice. Most especially if the singer has a very wide range like Sarah Geronimo. If, if you want to really, um, if you really want to impress people, you can transpose the key into higher level, mas mataas na key, to show off your vocal prowess, to show off your um, high notes, da ba? Um, kung magaling kang singer, flexible ang boses mo, at gusto mo ipakita sa tao na magaling ka, pipiliin mong itaas yung key. Kasi pwede, kaya ng boses mo. And we know that Sarah Hieronimo can do that. But I love na hindi in-overdo ni Sarah yung key. Meaning, pinili niya yung tamang key kung saan maiilabas niya yung mid-belts niya because yung mid-belts ang magpapalabas ng emotion niya. Yung mid-belts na yon yung level ng mid-belts niya, yung magbibigay sa kanya ng opportunity to full blast her emotion. Kasi nga naman, at some point, kapag pinaas mo yung notes mo, ang concern mo is how to hit the, those high notes. But here, I think it was a smart move not to um, increase or put the key higher kasi kapag higher yung key ang focus mo sa pag hit ng high notes. I think it's very intentional na nandun siya sa level ng comfort zone ni Sarah Geronimo 
nandun sa strengths niya, which is mid-belt, para habang kumakanta siya, binibigay niya rin yung emotion niya. Kasi it's difficult to balance, eh. To balance your your vocal techniques plus your emotion. Sometimes when you focus on your vocal techniques, medyo hindi natin maramdaman ng emotion. Sometimes when you give too much emotion, nawawala ng vocal techniques at dynamics yung performance mo. But, I, but here, I think, she tried to strike a balance to a point na dito tayo sa mid-belt kasi sa mid-belt mas malalabas yung emotion ko mas mapapakawala ko yung yung gusto kong ipakawala mas mabubuhos ko yung kaya kong ibuhos and I think that's what had happened during this performance those mid-belts most especially dun sa part na umaakit sa tremble tremble na part nakakaloka sobrang bigat, sobrang buo, sobrang pulido. And bihirang ganitong singers. Madaming singers na kaya mag-hit ng mga high notes. At kapag hinit na yung high notes, mataging ten powerful. But very rare ang mga singers na who can hit mid-belts and make it sound really, really powerful. And kasi kapag yung high notes, powerful, parang tumutusok siya sa tenga mo. Pero kapag ang mid-belt, powerful, parang pinapasabog niya yung katawan mo. Parang binubugan niya sa buong katawan mo yung boses niya. And I think that's what had happened during this performance. Lumabas talaga yung emotion niya. And dun sa tremble na part, dun sa part na well, yeah, yung gano'n na part, I, I cannot remember the, the lyrics rather, pero I felt like nagwala na siya to a point na wala na siyang pakialam kung maging maganda ang tunog ng boses niya, kung tumama siya sa nota, kung maging pleasing sa ears natin, basta ang pakialam niya, maibigay niya lang yung emotion niya na gusto niya maiparamdam sa atin. But good enough, Sarah Geronimo was a great vocalist, effortlessly naging maganda yung tunog, tapos yung emotion, pinakawalan pa rin niya. So imagine, sometimes may mga singers din na unintentionally nababalance nila. Parang si Sarah Geronimo, I feel like mas lamang dito yung emotion niya eh, kaysa sa vocal techniques niya. Pero sadyang magaling lang talaga siyang singer. Kaya kahit anong buga ng emotion niya, lumalabas at lumalabas pa rin yung galing niya as a singer. Yung pagiging technical niya na singer, lumabas yun. So, ang galing nun. So, after nung tremble na part na sobrang bigat na para tayong sinusuntok paakyat ng paakyat na para tayong nilulunod sa emotion. ba diba? Para siyang tubig na tumataas hanggang sa malunod na tayo sa emotion. That's the level of or that's the feeling that I felt during the performance. Biglang humina na naman yung susunod na part to a point na Ooh, pinaglalaroan ba tayo ni Sarah Geronimo? Anong gusto niyang maramdaman? Ang gusto niyang maramdaman is after that strong emotion, ibinalik na tayo dun sa peaceful na part ng song. Dun sa part na kailangan natin kumalma. Dun sa part na mas kailangan natin maintindihan yung meaning ng song, intindihan yung lyrics. Kaya medyo humina dun yung performance. And that's what I love about that performance. Imagine, so emotional and yet nagawa pa rin yung makapag runs and riffs. Sobrang solid yung runs and riffs niya. Very Beyonce, very Christina Aguilera yung narinig ko. Tapos marinig mo pa yung shifting niya from natural voice to falsetto. Tapos yung head tone niya, sobrang sobrang galit. Like after niyang magwala dun sa tremble, biglang nag ng konti, nag head voice, nag head tone siya. Ooh, grabe, ang sarap sa tenga. But above all, vocal performance wise, meaning ng song, I think ang remarkable dito is the emotion that we felt. The actual performance. I felt like she was possessed by something divine. I, I know it's bad to say that she was possessed by the Holy Spirit, but she was possessed by something divine. To a point na yung performance niya naging divine. It, it's, it's not I feel like someone else is singing. Someone na nandun mismo sa scenario kung saan pinapako sa cruise in Jesus Christ. I feel like yung kumakanta dito is someone na nakita si Jesus Christ na nagpo-procession at namatay sa cruise. Hindi naman yung si Sarah Geronimo, pero naramdaman ko na yung taong yun, kung sino mang yun, sumanib kay Sarah Geronimo at dineliver niya tong song na to. At kaya sobrang naging effective. Sobrang dinamdam talaga ng pagkakanta ni Sarah Geronimo. I felt like it was something divine. Tinotch ng Holy Spirit ang performance ito. Kaya ganito ka-define. And there are different purposes when you sing. Um, 
sometimes you seem to impress. That's perfectly fine. Next, you sing to uh, to entertain people. That's the purpose of singing and music. Sometimes you wanna sing because you want to deliver the message of the song. And magaling dun si Sarah Geronimo. But I think, dito sa performance sa to, wala dun sa tatlo eh. Yung purpose ni Sarah Geronimo. I felt like her purpose when she sang this song is for her to feel on her own the meaning and the message of the song. Kasi imagine mo, if she's trying to impress, um, yung gusot ng mukha niya, aayusin niya yun eh. Kaya niya yun. If she's trying to entertain people, I think hindi magiging ganito ka-emotional yung song. If she's trying to um, convey the message to you, madaming eye contact na mangyayari sa camera. Pag kung titignan mo dito, very very minimal yung eye contact. Madalas nakapikit siya. Madalas nakatingin lang siya somewhere else. And I felt like it's because she wanted to feel the song by herself on her own. Naging bonus nung pagiging genuine ng performance niya, yung tumagos papunta sa atin, yung meaning ng performance. So imagine, she was singing for herself to feel the song, and yet nakarating siya sa puso natin because that's how emotional, that's how intense the emotion, the emotion was during this performance. That's just my assumption. But I think, I felt like yung talaga, yung purpose nun. Bonus na lang na naramdaman talaga natin yung kanta. And I felt like wala na siyang pakialam eh. I felt like wala na siyang pakialam kung anong itsura niya, kung anong kalalabasan. Basta gusto niya pakawalan yung emotions niya. Kasi dinamdam niya yung song eh. Dinamdam niya yung song. Um, ninamdam niya. Sinapuso niya. Nilagay niya sa dibdib niya. Which resulted to this type of per performance. Which was very, very impressive. Grabe no, very rare talaga makapanood ng mga ganitong performance. And it goes to show that Sarah Geronimo was a very good vocalist. And at the same time, a very good communicator. And a very good um, performer. And I think blessed tayo because we have this kind of person na alam mong genuine ng puso, na nagpipreach din ng something na alam mo yon makaka-touch sa puso natin. Though ito medyo mabigat to na song, medyo negative yung emotion na to, pero may realization kasi tayo after nating marinig to. So, nagiging yung negative emotion, nagiging positive because we have this kind of realization and yun yung naging result ng performance na to. Um, let me know if you felt the same way, if you felt the same thing as what I felt when I was watching this performance because yun talagang naramdaman ko. And kudos to Sarah Geronimo for singing this song. It was superb. It was perfect. It was very emotional. It was divine. It was very holy. Yun yung performance na yun. Thank you. Thank you for singing this song. Kasi tinouch mo yung heart namin. Yung emotion namin na natatago, binuhay mo. Not because you wanted us to feel what you're saying. It's because you felt it and the emotion was too much to a point na nakarating sa akin. So thank you so much, Siren Hieronimo. And sobrang, sobrang happy ako sa performance na to. So that's all for our reaction video. I hope you like it. Um, if you like it, uh, please don't forget to hit like. If you would want to share your insights about this performance, please share your insights. Comment it down below. And if you want more videos in the future, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this reaction video. And stay safe, everyone. Bye!